Okay, folks, give me a walkthrough of my proposed uh, roofing truss fix. Uh, the uh, roofing in or the uh, building inspector uh, will be stopping by tomorrow, and they've said that if any of the roof truss system is compromised, uh, I would need an engineering uh, um, design, fix plan, etc. And of course that's going to be a $500 consult for them to throw a couple of things together and it's really not that bad. So I'm going to hopefully present this. I worked up this model this morning uh, so that uh, he can have an idea of what uh, I'm looking at. Here is a normal roof truss. We've got uh, the roof surface, we've got a support coming down here, um, these plates uh, are used to anchor these two individual pieces of lumber together. Um, and then we've got the end here, which the fascia board uh, would nail to. And then, of course, the roof would, roofing material would go on top. Now, in our roof system, um, the chimney was right here, so in the original construction, they decided to cut this. This is, the, this is a representation of the metal plate that holds these two together. So they cut this, and they cut this out so that the chimney could come up like this, right? Uh, roof truss systems are something you're not supposed to be mucky-mucking with in the structural part of the house. Uh, so let me turn this over, and we'll go with this representation now. All right, well, the chimney, the water leaked in, and this little black stuff represents rot that's on the current system now. So we have a load-bearing wall that sits right here like this, and this rot, the load-bearing wall is rotten, this is kind of rotten, and so it's not giving any support right here. Uh, in addition, the chimney's not going back up, so we have to do something to replace this, and this is the proposal. The proposal first is I have to continue the roof down because the chimney is no longer coming up through here. So I will need to take a piece of 2x4 like material. And if I can get this, remember how this goes. There we go. That put right this on the put this right on the end of that is one solid piece. And then, of course, the roof is fully supported, so if somebody steps up here on the plywood, it just doesn't collapse. Uh, we can't just have this dangling out here. And then, of course, we've got the fascia board that would go to the end of this. All right? So we need that little piece. But this is structurally not going to do anything unless we hold it in place somehow. And now my proposal is, is that I cut some half-inch sheets of plywood to act as gussets. And so we screw or nail this into place, and then I have a gusset on the back side. So there's these two things will be sandwiched in this gusset, like so. Big plywood sheets of gussets, as so. And that should support the roof, should be structure, make these two pieces structurally sound. And then the only thing, of course, is we have to somehow prepare this so that it can sit on something that's structurally sound. There, in my proposal there, is after the sandwiching is done, we take some long 2x4s and we bolt them there, or actually screw them in there, or nail them in there, and we do the same thing on the back side, on the other side of the sandwich, so that this is sandwiched in between these two items like that. So this is a model I will be using to hopefully uh, convince the building inspector that that's the way to go and I don't have to have an engineering firm come out and uh, uh, tell me to fix because I'll guarantee you their recommendation will be to put in um, uh, plywood gussets uh, and I already have an idea and so I would love to be able to save their consulting fee and they're just going to put in some boilerplate and throw a couple of calculations together probably take them all of 10 minutes and they're going to ding me a huge amount of money so we'll see how that goes always have a model uh, worked that up this morning so uh, he can kind of get a visualization of what I've got planned so hopefully that'll work thanks